self-doubt. You've got to do something, and fast, or he's going to kill your men. You can't keep anyone safe, can you? This is the theme explored by Ichigo during the Hueco Mundo invasion. Ichigo's fight with Byakuya left him in fear of his own abilities regarding his Zanpak toe. I thought I told you already. It's a big problem for me if you get yourself killed. That's impossible. Which is a very literal part of his soul. His mock Bankai, while cool in design, had failed him repeatedly. His Zanpak toe white constantly interfered as soon as he realized Ichigo was in need of his true power. <laughs> Ichigo strives to be a good person, so to speak. He has a good moral compass. His inner hollow white seemingly goes against Ichigo's true nature. At least, that is how Ichigo saw it. But remember, Ichigo is looking at this from the perspective of a teenager. His inexperience led him to believe he could have what he wanted, that thing being the ability to protect his loved ones, while also ignoring his need to address his inner demons, which has been heavily weighing on him. This is what causes him to accept Shinji's invitation to the V Club. And while Shinji and the Visors do attempt to help Ichigo, sadly they also didn't fully understand Ichigo's true dilemma. Unlike Ichigo, the Visor Zanpakuto had already been manifested well before their holifications. So to them, the holification truly is a curse. This training leaves Ichigo with the ability to use a hollow mask for a few seconds, a temporary solution to his very permanent problem of not being able to control his own Zanpakuto. Ichigo is able to push through his next big battle with his temporary fix. <laughs> Only for it to fail him when he needed it the most. This is what causes Ichigo to lose control and turn into the Vasto Lorde. Once again, Ichigo found himself at a crossroads. He wanted to save Orihime and protect his allies, but instead of using his true power, which is the monster inside of him, he attempted to figuratively and literally mask it while pushing forward. This earned him what was arguably his most devastating defeat in the series. He worked so hard and it still didn't pay off. This causes the monster to take over completely. Ichigo had lost control of himself because he continued to chase situations he couldn't possibly win without gaining more power. Instead of embracing the inner demon which is a part of his soul and also contained the very power he sought after, he chose to fear it and bury it deep within. Of course he still clutches the W, but it's because he completely loses control of himself, he also causes harm to his friends, both physically and psychologically. As we can see in the Thousand Year Blood War, Orihime still feared the sight of those horns. White himself is almost a manifestation of Ichigo's anxieties and his fear of seeing another loved one die in front of him, like what happened with Masaki. As soon as he tried to bury that fear, that inner demon as he saw it causes harm not only to himself, but also his loved ones. But the more he comes to accept and embrace what he truly is, a monster that is, he becomes less dangerous to anyone not considered his enemy and actually gets closer to his true nature, being that of a protector. He eventually learns that in order to achieve this goal, he needs not only a good moral compass, but also the power and abilities to back it up. The message here is that self-doubt can not only be a hindrance to your capabilities, but also the source of your anxiety and fears. Thanks for sticking around this far into the video, and if you like this type of content, then hit that like button and leave a comment letting me know if you agree or not. Peace.